Hello, welcome to Shulala. Today we're going to take you with us to have lunch in the traditional Lyonnais Bouchon. What is Bouchon? It's a traditional restaurant from Lyon where we eat traditional Lyonnais food. Let's go! Okay, come in. Let's go inside and have some delicious local food. Bonjour, uh, c'est ma femme là-bas. <laughs> yes. Okay, so here I am sitting down at my table. Very nice. It all looks very traditional to me. Normally at Bouchons you always get traditional red and white checkered square um, tablecloth and napkin. Everything you see inside this restaurant is in line with the traditional Lyonnais Bouchon idea. The decoration is supposed to be very homey, cozy. Uh, the theme, the main colors are red and white. You can see some, some funny pictures of some local chefs. Here we have... Uh, Who's that? Paul Bacuse. Oh. Very famous chef in Lyon. He's got a chicken. Also in France and in the world. In the world, yeah. If you're a foodie, you probably know who he is. Yeah, so you've got some quirky pictures on the wall. This one's quite low-key. Normally they're a bit more exaggerated. We've got pictures of the puppets of the Lyonnais, Guignon. Uh, yeah, yeah, Nika. Oh, there! I yeah. was looking for that. So exactly. that's the, the, the traditional Lyonnais doll we have. And behind me you have the menu, la carte du jour. As you can see, the prices, it's all very reasonable. Nothing too expensive. And again, that's another typical feature of this kind of restaurant. So that's one reason we like to come to these places a lot. It doesn't break the budget. And also, not all the French restaurants are expensive, right? No. If you eat local, it's cheaper. Ah, some lovely local wine. We've chosen Fleury. It's from Beaujolais, right? Yeah, just next to Lyon. So, as you can see, this wine is being put in a glass bottle. Normally, it would be to the bottom, but in Lyon, we have this thing called the Pau, and it's only 450 milliliters instead of the normal 750. So, it's perfect for two people, two glasses each, as long as you're not heavy drinkers, it's cheaper and it's better for your liver. I like this one. I'm not sure Shu's gonna like it, but I do. I'll try. Merci. Mm. I like it too. Do you? Mm. This wine is also very good for Shu and other people with an allergy to normal wine because it is natural wine, which means it contains no sulfates. So if you are Asian, or you're just very sensitive, you probably won't go red and you probably won't feel ill after drinking this. Another thing I really like about Bouchons is they almost always give you something to snack on before your meal arrived. This was already here when we, were, when we sat down and apparently it is rillette de viande. So meat um, rillette, I guess, on toasted bread. Mmm, and it's good, it's like pâté to me. Give some wine. Mm. Nice together. So on the bread, we have a spread here of, I think it's pulled meat, and it seems like they've mixed it with some fat. It's got that creamy texture and lots of seasoning, so it's quite nice and salty in the mouth, but not too much. No, wait, 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 I want to eat that. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. Mmm. And normally in France, especially in Lyon, this kind of meat spread is made of goose. Really? I did not know that. I thought it was pork. Can you see the logo for the restaurant? Café du Pente. That means the artist, the painter's cafe. Wow. It's a nice logo, I think. Yeah, it's very really nice. So the name of this traditional restaurant is always like nonsense. Can I say that? Um, often, yeah. I'm just just like have a name for fun, you know? They it's like to just give it a funny name or maybe a name of a local street. Like there's two of I know in Lyon and they call them, they call them by the street name. And here you have some writing on the wall encouraging you that wine is good and to drink more of it. Yay. This one, for example, says that in order for wine to be good for women, the men need to drink it. Not quite, quite sure what that means and I disagree actually. Such fun. I need to drink more wine than you to relax. Because you can't take it, can you? You're a weak Asian man. <laughs> so they've given me this thing to eat the, the snails with. It really reminds me of one of those scary eyelash curlers that I never use. Sure, what do I do with it? Please explain. That's for the snails. Yeah, but what do I do? Like, how? I'll show you later, okay? Okay. Ah, okay. You're both doing? Uh, I'm trying. My, my one is like a weird shape. 
stuck inside. I can't do it. Oh, come on. It's been 10 years to leave in France. You can't do it. I don't eat snails normally. I'm doing it for the video. Ah. Yeah, I'd be able to do it better without this stupid thing. Oh, okay, good. Like it? If I try not to think about the fact that I'm eating a snail that creates this disgusting bav, I like it. The taste is nice, right? Mm. Just be honest to yourself. Bubbles in English. I don't know what the word is, but in English, oh, slime. Yeah. There's slime. no slime. It's cooked. No slime. It's only like this very nice herb mm. and butter. I like it. I hope you appreciate this. So you can see the meat inside is very easy to detach. Why? Why is that? Because you know, actually, meat is meat separate with the shell. So this meat, this snail, doesn't grow in this shell. This is a tiny secret of the older restaurant in France. And how do you know that? Because I work in the restaurant. I'm a chef before. Yeah, this is Chef Chu we're talking to, not just Chu. Mm. Mm. Good. <laughs> so as you just saw there, the head chef here is a female chef. And that's very interesting because if you look at the history for these Bouchon Lyonnaise, it was always the Mère Lyonnaise, as they were called. The Lyonnaise mothers who ran these restaurants and who created the famous recipes that we still eat today. So this is a famous andouillette. Where is andouillette? Mm, it's inside this part. Andouille actually is a kind of sausage with lots of uh, tripe, awful inside. Okay? The large intestine, right? Exactly. Oh. You know what that is. Mm. Mm. When you go to a good bouchon and you taste the andouille, when it's not smelly, when it's not disgusting, which means it's perfect bouchon. So, basically, this awful, you can't taste any taste of organ, so it's very, very well prepared. Good. It's really it's good. Not, it's not awful, awful. <laughs> exactly. It smells very good. Yeah. Yeah, you can't smell, smell like toilets. Yeah, exactly. Mm. <laughs> mm, I like it. Very nice. Oh, that's good. And underneath, I combine with this potatoes. Correct. It's even better than correct. This is really nice. Really nice. Fantastic. Well, that's good. We took a gamble there. We took a risk because we wanted yeah. you to see this. Because if you are a tourist here in Lyon and you go to like whatever a bouchon is, like in tourist area, like uh, Via Lyon, most of the time you go to this kind of restaurant and you order andouille, it will be very disgusting. You can't even have the second bite, trust me. But this is so good. I'm going to have third, fifth, even finish all this on my own. You're going to share it with me because I want to try it too. I'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to try some andouillette now. Mmm. Oh, I really like it. I tried some really bad ones. And this is one of the best I've ever had. Wow. The first time I tried it, I actually had to spit it out into the toilet. It was so disgusting. But I a, my palate has matured, matured, or I'm in a really good bouchon now. Okay, so I have got the cunelle. And it's a traditional Lyonnaise fish cake made of crawfish. No, 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 the crawfish is the sauce. Oh, sorry. Okay, the this is made sauce. by pike? fish. Yeah, yeah, pike. Often pike, yeah. Okay, <coughs> but it's very hot, very it's hot. Always, exactly, it's hot. In France, they love to serve fish with rice, so we've got our ah, great bowl of rice here. And what do you serve with fish in England? Rice, I think. Fish and chips. Oh, chips, yeah. Are you God. British? I haven't lived there for 10 years, okay? okay. Hot, hot, hot. It's very okay. hot, okay. Do it, do it, do it. Mm. How's that? It always tastes good. It tastes the same as it always does. It's great. Mm. And also, there's another tip. If you're a tourist in come to Lyon, if you go to a very, like, whatever bouchon is in a tourist area. If you order this dish, normally it won't be too bad, right? I always order this dish. Because yeah. I'm scared to eat organ meat. Try some of yours. Mm. Gunel, fish cake, pike, pike cake. <laughs> Especially you have to put lots of this uh, orange sauce. It's made by crawfish. Oh yeah. Ecrevis, and it's called sauce non trois. Non trois is a place near Lyon. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. 
so much knowledge. Hmm. Wow, it's so good. The sauce is especially fascinating because there's a taste of crawfish and the cream. And the crawfish, I can tell, is quite fresh. They make it themselves. Because another secret again, lots of Lyon traditional restaurants, they use canned sauce. This is definitely not canned sauce. Yeah. Oh, the last bite. It's some wine. Mm, local food always goes so well with local wine. This wine is from Beaujolais. It's not even an hour by car, but from Lyon. This is the diplomat. You all know what a diplomat is in English. It's a classic French dessert. And it's What's the sauce this, around? It's, it's got custard. The French name for that is English cream, creme anglaise. And it's got praline rose, which is another very traditional Lyonnaise uh, dessert. It's made of almonds, sweet almonds. And lots of uh, colorant. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's very good. Hey, I would say like the cake is very soft, it's good, and uh, this creme anglaise. Yeah, it's not very sweet, it's great. The balance is nice, I like it. You don't like things that are too sweet, so good. Yeah, Let's true, and like this layer of the praline, like this uh, like sugary red stuff. Normally in lots of restaurants, they'll put a lot. It will make it so sweet, over sweet. Very thick, yeah. Yeah, but this one is just uh, correct. Correct amount, I like it. Okay, so next dessert is the famous Ta Ta Tang. Ta Ta Tang. Ta Tang actually is the name of a girl in the history, okay? But the most famous of the recipe of this dish is uh, they flip the tart, okay? So they first cook the apple in the pan and then they put on this uh, pastry on top of the tape apple to cover it. And then when it's ready, they flip it. So it becomes like a tart. Okay. Upside down cake. Exactly. Let's try it. Hmm, really correct. It's not too greasy because normally sometimes I put too much oil and butter. But this one is just correct amount. It's really, really well do. It's really, really well done. I like it. There's a very slight caramel taste, which I think is, is really nice. Hmm, great. Oh yeah, really good. So comforting for me to have this. I like it a lot. Vous avez bien mangé tout ce qui est passé? Très bien, merci. Très bien. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Bonne digestion. Bonne merci. Et vous aussi? Joli soleil. Au revoir, merci. Merci, au revoir. Au revoir. After our meal, we've come to this beautiful square. It's a part of Lyon that's not very touristy. It's called Breton, but it's still very beautiful. Now often these restaurants, the Bouchard, they tend to be in the tourist areas. I strongly recommend you don't go to one there. You try one outside of the tourist area, then you know it's appreciated by local people and it's really good cuisine. So, how do you like the restaurant today? I really enjoyed it. Such good food, so nice. And also the environment was very nice and it's done like very, very old or a bit crappy, but no. this is kind of new, modern, but they keep the spirit of the exactly. old restaurant, right? And the toilets were clean and that's always a good sign for me. Yeah, exactly. So in general, we're really happy to have this meal. And how much we spent? 95 euros. It's quite expensive, but we yeah, did order a bit, snails. Yeah, a bit, to be honest. To be honest. Yeah, we, we ordered nice uh, dishes. Yeah. yeah, we could have made it a lot cheaper if we didn't do all that. Yeah, because they provide this kind of uh, plat du jour. Mm -hmm. Is that menu du jour? You can also only spend 25 yeah. euros each. It's quite cheap. But we did it for the video because we wanted you to see what traditional food is here. No, not really only for video because we're kind of very, very picky for yeah, food. So we, we like always to like food. to order like nice dishes. So that's yeah. why we spend this much. We like in general, we can spend much less. But if you really want to experience nice Lyon food, authentic, traditional, normally it's better to order like us. Like, you know, pay order a little bit more. Yeah. Just don't do it every day. It's fine. It's yeah, affordable. sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so that's today's video and see you next time. See you. Bye-bye. Shulala. Shulala.